A big game hunter went on safari with his wife and mother-in-law. One evening, while still deep in the jungle, the missus awoke to find her mother gone. Rushing to her husband, she insisted on them both trying to find her mother. The hunter picked up his refoil, took a swig of whiskey and started to look for her. In a clearing not far from the camp, they came upon a chilling sight. The mother-in-law was backed up against a thick impenetrable bush and a large male lion stood facing her. The wife cried, What are we going to do? Nothing, said the hunter husband. The lion got himself into this mess. Let him get himself out of it. It was their first date and she'd shown the patience of a saint as he babbled on and on about his hobbies, his pet peeves, his driving techniques and even the standards he used to choose his barber. Finally, he came up for air and said, But enough about me, let's talk about you. She breathed a sign of relief. He went on, What do you think about me? <laughs> an explorer goes into an undiscovered tomb for the first time, and in the center of the tomb there is a lamp. So he picked it up and started to rub the dirt off of it, and out came a genie out of the lamp and he said, I want to know the person you hate the most. The explorer said, that's got to be my ex-wife, why? I am a cursed genie. I will grant you three wishes, but whatever you wish for your ex-wife will get double the amount. Okay, I wish for a billion dollars. Granted, but your ex-wife gets two billion. I wish for a mansion in California with a swimming pool and tennis courts, everything. Granted, your ex-wife gets two. This is your final wish. The explorer walked around the room and came back to the genie with a stick and said, Ya see this stick? I'd like you to beat me half to death. <laughs> a guy is sitting in a bar next to a really ugly woman. She has a parrot on her shoulder. Woman says, If you can tell me what kind of animal I have on my shoulder, I'll sleep with you. Guy says, An alligator? Woman says, Close enough. <laughs> is this really your third marriage? Sure is. What happened to your first two wives? They died. How did your first wife die? She ate some poisonous mushrooms. What about your second wife? She died from a severe skull fracture. How did she get a skull fracture? She wouldn't eat the mushrooms. <laughs> Kids can sometimes ask the toughest questions. Son, father, can I ask you a question? Father, okay, ask. Son, when a doctor doctors a doctor, does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as the doctor being doctored wants to be doctored or does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as he wants to doctor? <laughs> For two solid hours, the lady sitting next to a man on an airplane had told him about her grandchildren. She had even produced a plastic fold-out photo album of all nine of the children. She finally realized that she had dominated the entire conversation on her grandchildren. Oh, I've done all the talking, and I'm so sorry. I know you certainly have something to say. Please tell me. What do you think of my grandchildren? <laughs> I'm so glad that this is my last child support payment. Month after month, year after year, those payments. So I called my baby girl, Karisha, to come over to my house. And when she got there, I said to her, Baby girl, I want you to take this last check over to your mother's house and tell her that this is the last check she's ever going to get from me and I want you to come back and tell me the expression that's on her face. So my baby girl took the check over to her. I was really anxious to hear what she had to say and what she looked like. As my baby girl walked through the door, I said, 
Now what did she have to say? She told me to tell you that you ain't my daddy and watch the expression on your face. <laughs> Why did the mirror cross the road? To see itself. <laughs> For weeks, a six-year-old lad kept telling his first grade teacher about the baby brother or sister that was expected at his house. One day, the mother allowed the boy to feel the movement of the unborn child. The six-year-old was obviously impressed, but made no comment. Furthermore, he stopped telling his teacher about the impending event. The teacher finally sat the boy on her lap and said, Tommy, whatever has become of that baby brother or sister you were expecting at home? Tommy burst into tears and confessed, I think mommy ate it. <laughs>